For decades, people have been finding hundreds of flaws in the education system. No conceptual understanding, no creativity, children are stressed, and the list goes on. All these are symptoms. But what is the root cause to all this? What is the fundamental flaw in the education system? Let us play a rapid fire game. You have one second to answer every question. Let's start. First question A4? Okay, no more questions. Did you think Apple first? 98% of people are most likely to think so. Because that was what we were told in our kindergarten. Imagine that this was done differently. Say we had asked you for all the words starting with A. Ant, Ace, April, Apt. Different answers would have popped out of everyone's head. Do you see where the problem is? Before children start going to school, every child is unique. Every child thinks different. But the education system makes every child think the same. This is the fundamental flaw in the education system. Why did this start? During the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, the education system was designed to make children ready to work in factories. The factories did not require people to think but to only work like robots. So, the education system stripped children of their freedom to think and destroyed their true potential. The same education system continues even today. Only the industries have changed. A study by NASA shows that 98% of children think different before they start going to school. As they go through this education system, at 25 years of age, only 2% think different and 98% think the same. So how does the education system make every child the same? Let's go back to the Apple example. Kindergarten lessons told us that A is for Apple. We asked you for words that start with A. Our education system gave us the answers. We asked you a question. Answers make you the same. Questions make you different. Right from kindergarten, the education system keeps giving answers. Instead of asking children how plants make food, the science teacher gives you the definition of photosynthesis. Instead of asking them to describe the sun, the teacher tells them that the sun is a ball of fire at the center of the solar system. Through their years in school, children lose the capability to think on their own. Whether it is their choice of career or their relationship or any situation in life, they become dependent on others for answers. They completely lose their true nature and their extraordinary potential remains unrealized. Now, we face a million problems in the world for which we are only awaiting answers. So, what is the solution? We need an education system that recognizes that every child is different and is questioning based so that it brings out the extraordinary human potential in every child. Dream for the Child is a nationwide movement which calls upon every teacher, every parent, every educator, every policymaker, everyone who has a role to play in the development of a child to join hands together to reform the education system and bring out the human potential in every child.